guess he was then probably about 92, three years old. He was sitting there and he said, boys, he said, let me tell you something. He said, this irrigation water is going to make a bunch of you rich. But he said, if y'all stay with it, it's going to break every one of you. The whole state of Texas is involved in water conservation. So why shouldn't we be, be involved as producers? What are we really talking about here? We're not talking about conserving water. We're talking about controlling water. That's the deal. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We have a good free market system out here. Farmers are good stewards of their land. But if you get everything centralized where there's centralized control over production, that is not a good thing. Let people take care of their own business. Freedom is a good thing. Liberty is a good thing. That's what's made this country so great. We do live in a desert. This is classified as a desert. And lo and behold, the fact that we found water underneath the desert was a wonderful thing for about 50 years. But that's over with now. You know, the good old days are never going to happen again. Having the aquifer around here, we can support larger, more prosperous communities. You go one tier of counties north or one tier south, nothing new or progressive looking at them at all. And when you try to narrow it right down, the difference is irrigation. Our municipal wells have declined 60 to 70 percent in the past two years. We don't know that we might not lose that last 30% in the next 60 days. You don't know.